Hello and welcome to another quick video from me here. This is Jay. I am your coding tutor. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how to create a bootstrap starter project. Now, one thing is, uh, of course, that is my website if you feel like visiting. That is my Discord if you feel like joining. So one thing I would request is those who are watching this, uh, there is another video um, uh, where I have spoken about um, HTML starter, right? So I would strongly recommend you first go through that before coming here. That will make it easier for you. But if you want to skip a few steps, really, uh, you are more than welcome uh, to do that in your own way. So, but still, it will help you if you first do that HTML starter video first before coming here. Now, to build the H Bootstrap starter, uh, the obvious thing to do is to simply check out the Bootstrap official website you know I always like to follow the official guidelines no matter how experienced of a tutor I become so I'll go here I'll go to the bootstrap uh, website right so the bo official bootstrap website is here and if you go here you have the option called docs and you have a nice easy to use uh, get started with bootstrap website so there you go they've given a very nice easy to understand step so let's just follow this step right okay the first step is i have to create an index.file in your project folder so i'm going to quickly go to my uh, folder here okay as always we are going to create a new folder uh, there we go so i'm going to say new folder i'm going to call this bootstrap uh, starter okay so then here first thing to do is to of course create a new file called index.html now whatever you do you need to do that in your editor so there it is okay i have my editor ready to go make sure you have the extension live preview installed on your computer this is what i'm using you can use some other live preview extension really it doesn't matter so first step let's go ahead and create a file called index.html there it is and then i'm going to say new html and then let's copy this whole thing there's a nice tiny icon on the top right corner go ahead and dump it here and that's all there is to it now next thing is we need to include okay first step is to create a new index.html let's put that in my powerpoint okay well actually it is the second step in my powerpoint so the second step is to go ahead and uh you know do this oh Ah, there we go. So create a new index.html file and then you know, dump all the things that they have given here. The second thing that you have to do is include the bootstrap and CSS elements. So let's go ahead and do that here. So I'm going to say paste and then there we go. Include the bootstrap CSS and JS. Now where is that? So if you look at this, you have the, the bootstrap stuff here. So you want to carefully copy this line and you want to see where it goes so it goes just before the closing tag of the head element so if i go back to my example i have the head element here and code there you go now on vs code if you want to you can press alt z okay to wrap the contents you can also go to view and then you can go to uh, word wrap right here so alt z is the shortcut for that so first i have to go ahead and include the uh, CSS uh, at the top and then I have to include the JavaScript in the bottom now please remember that CSS always goes in the head tag and the script file goes just before the closing part of the body tag now once you have added these two things uh, that's it bootstrap is working so how do we check let's go for the extension here there's a tiny icon click on that and there you go it looks really nice but you know what do you want, what do you want to do you want to just confirm that it is working so what i like to do is i want to go ahead and quickly you know show a simple image okay so quickly go ahead and show a a simple image you know you can use whatever image you want i have a bit of a, a photography hobby so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to one of my own photos so i have my website here and I have some photos from my photography hobby. So I'm going to use, uh, yeah, this girl is, there we go. So let's take this image here. Um, I want to say open image in new tab. And this is the image I want to use. There's another reason why I'm using this. You'll see that in a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image in my folder. So I'm going to go to videos. I'm going to go to the project folder, bootstrap startup, and I'm going to dump this image here. So there we go. So now all I have to do is I'll go here and I'm going to say IMG, and then I'm going to say source equals, there you go. I select that image, and then I'm going to simply close this tag. 
and there it is. So now you'll notice something here. Look at that. The image is too big. It, the image is too big for the output. I could check this in Firefox as well. So I go here to Firefox. I go here, reload this page. So yeah, you can see, right? The I'm getting the text fine, but the image is too big. It doesn't look like it is responsive. It doesn't seem to work properly. Now, why is that happening? Now, that is where Bootstrap is really useful. It it does it makes things responsive. You know, it makes things responsive. So what we want to do is on the left side, if you scroll down, you have a section called images and there is a class for image. So the class for image is class equals image dash fluid, right? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to apply this class to this image. Okay, here we go. And now look on the right side what happens. The moment I applied that class, see how the image is now looking fine. It, it has responded to the change in size. Same here with my output. If I go back to my Firefox, look at that. Look at that. As I change the size of this window, the image is automatically resizing itself. Now that is what we call responsive image design so there you go folks that is bootstrap in action and that is how you know you go ahead and get the uh, you know uh, the bootstrap to work for you now since we are already talking about it I just want to mention uh, something a little bit about folders now please understand here that this image is in the root folder so this is called the root folder now let's say I have another image so let's say I'm gonna create a image one folder I'm gonna say image two and then what I'll do is I'll go back to my website and I'll take another image. So let me take uh, let me this one. So let's say I take this image. Okay, so let me just download this image. I'm going to put this here, save image as. And I want to put this in my image2 folder. So notice that thing. So I'm going to put that in a separate folder. Now let's say I want to use that image. I need to know about paths. So how does that work? So once again, I'm going to put the image tag source. Now here, notice how the image2 folder is inside the root folder. So first I have to mention the image2 and then grab that image. And of course, I have to put the class image fluid. And now I have two images. So please remember to know about these paths and stuff like that. So let me do one more thing. So I'm going to create another folder. I'll call this image three. Okay, and here I'm going to create one more folder. I'm going to call this image four. And then I'm going to create one more folder. I'll call this image five. Now I'm going to go back to my website. I'll take another image here. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so yeah, there we go. Let me take another image. Hold on. Yeah, let me take this image. So now I'm able to, I'll take this image and I'm going to store this deep in the folder. So I'm going to go to image three. I'm going to keep digging. I'm going to keep digging. So now I have this image stored all the way inside three folders. So if I want this image, once again, I am going to say IMG source equals, I'm going to start digging. So first I'm going to say image three. Then I'm going to dig in, keep digging to image four. And finally, I'm going to dig into image five. And finally, I'm going to find the image that I'm talking about. And I need to apply the class. And now I have that image showing up. So there you go, my dear students. So don't forget to learn about, finally, paths, you know, folders and paths. Very important when you're working with starters and learning to code. So folders and paths, very, very important. So that's, so to quickly summarize, to build your uh, HTML um, uh, starter project, first step, you know, watch that video I already made about HTML starter, then go to the Bootstrap official website, create an index.html file, copy paste all the Bootstrap things. Don't forget to include Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript. Show a simple image, you know, show multiple images with folders and paths, and that's all there is to it. Okay, thank you.